Hi, I'm Kevin Dunnan, and you're watching Hip World Gourmet. Good afternoon and welcome to my bar here in Dunbrody. I thought because we were starting in the afternoon I might start with a pint of Guinness. Guinness is the most famous Irish beer all over the world. And you know the way at the end of each show I would say Schlante. Well Schlante is actually an Irish word for cheers or goodbye. So I'll see you in a couple of minutes over in the kitchen while we're cooking again. But in the meanwhile, Schlante. It's just like mother's milk. So today we're going to show you how to make a pan seared salmon served on a pickled cucumber. So there's kind of an oriental twist to our food today. And then we're going to follow it with a lobster salad, a lobster we've caught just one mile from, from our house. We're going to show you how we do that later on in the show. And we're, then we're going to finish with a traditional Irish dessert, which is a bread and butter pudding. And we're going to make it with a Paddy's Irish whiskey custard. And where do you see that? It's, it's kind of a spectacular sort of presentation. I guess what happens with me is I kind of get inspired by reading magazines and stuff like that. And at the moment I've got this huge feeling for Japanese style food. And what I really notice about Japanese food is it's such a fresh approach to food. And there's also, they're also fantastic at presentation. And what I've done is I've taken the Japanese food and I've actually simplified it. But you can see that my presentation of food is actually very cream, clean, crisp lines and it's very pleasing to the eye but it's very easy for you to do just watching and see. What we're going to do is we're going to make the, the cucumber pickle now. So I'm just going to take the top and tail or about halfway like so. So I've got a mandolin in here but if you don't have one of these machines you can always use just a sharp knife but the secret is, is you want to cut it as thin as possible. You can see there it's kind of like ribboned the cucumber. We're going to put that into a bowl. We're going to add some coriander seed to that. Some rice wine, rice wine vinegar. black pepper, a good splash of black pepper. Okay, and basically just leave that to the side and that'll be perfectly marinated by the time we cook our salmon and start to plate up our dish. So what I was talking about, Japanese food, I mean that's very Japanese, it's just simple cucumber with some rice wine vinegar in it and a traditional dish that you would cook for a breakfast when you're eat, eating in Japan or indeed when, when you're cooking for Japanese people is they just love seared, seared, seared salmon with the breakfast. They'll get a bowl of, bowl of rice, put an egg yolk in it and just mix it up and eat it like that. So I'm going to use some rock salt. I'm just going to put a little bit of oil on our salmon. Make sure your, your pan is extremely hot. This is going to cook in less than a minute. Some black pepper. Okay, we're going to make, while that's cooking, we're going to make, quickly, we're going to make uh, some dressing. 
So it's a citron dressing, so basically I'm just going to take the skin off the lemon. Just like that. Try and get all the white off the thing, off the... If you go cut in between the, the segments there, Okay, then you just want to chop it like so into your dish. Turn the salmon over. Okay, at that stage, just turn off the heat. Because <coughs> again, it's going to continue cooking there while we're making this dressing. Some chopped parsley, zest, zest of lemon. Some olive oil, some black pepper, and there you have it. We'll take out our plate. <clears throat> okay, on your plate, then you start off by putting your ribbons of cucumber. Try and keep it kind of loose on the plate. Like so. Take your salmon. Over top. Then we're going to dress it with our citron dressing. Okay, so you just finish off there now. Just going to put a little bit of lemon zest on the top and sprinkle some rock salt around the edge. There you have a Kevin's version of a Japanese dish. Now we're going to go down and watch the lobsters come in off the boats, bring one back, and then we're going to do a lobster salad for you with a yogurt dressing. So come on with me now and we'll go down to the pier. So here we are in the beautiful sunny Kilmore Quay. This is an extremely busy harbour and we're very lucky because we're actually going to meet a guy called Eric that we're actually going to get some lobster today for our menu. So I can see Eric's boat there so let's go on his boat and uh, see if we can get a couple of, a couple of lobsters for that delicious salad. Eric are you in there yeah? Hello? How you doing? Nice to meet you. And you. So where's these lobsters? We have the lobsters here. Oh, excellent. <laughs> you wouldn't want to get caught there, would you? No, 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 you would not. You would so tell not. us, where are you catching these? Up off the Salty Islands. Right. Oh. Do you put pots down in the... We put traps down, yeah. And are they there all the time? And Oh yeah, 24 hours a day. Really, yeah? Week, yeah? Call them every day. Every day? What every time day. do you go out? Ah, it's half four, five o'clock. Half four? Do you sleep at all, do you? Yeah, something. <laughs> That's the bait we use for them. Oh, do you? I didn't. The mackerel. The mackerel? Yeah. It's very oily fish, isn't it? It is, yeah. With, there's no trap. There's no, none of the boats have a trap. So you put that into a trap? That into the trap. And then these guys go in and, and they overnight. can't get out? And they go in. And of course we get these fellas in as well. Oh, the spider? Yeah. Spider crabs. Beautiful. Excellent. A gauge for measuring the lobsters, which is... What, what does that mean? That's their size, 85, 87 millimetres. But I always, like when I'm ordering lobster, I always say a pound, a pound and a quarter. Oh yeah, but you could be caught though, you could be caught with the size. You could be shorter here on the back. Excellent lobsters, yeah. perfect size. 
I tell you what lads, this is what I call shopping for fish. Coming right to the boats and getting fresh lobsters to bring back to our kitchen to cook a superb lobster salad. So we're very fortunate, great characters, those fishermen, and we got this beautiful lobster. Here we go here. Basically, um, what we've done, I've, I've actually steamed this lobster. I'm actually gonna be showing you later how to steam a lobster properly. So basically, to make the salad, we're just gonna pull, pull the tail off the salad. If you hold it in your hand like that, and you just get the scissors, and you snip it on both sides, all the way down. Because basically what we want to do is we want to take out the, the tail of the lobster in one piece. Now, you're looking at this lobster here and the shells, you can certainly make a fantastic soup out of that by breaking down the shells, salting them off with a bit of garlic, a bit of onions, a little bit of tomato, some flambe with brandy, add some water to and let it simmer, reduce by half, add some cream, strain it off and then serve it up and you've got a fantastic lobster bisque. Take off the, the claws there. With these, I'm going to crack them on both, both sides. You want to take out the meat of these and try and get them out in one piece if you can. This guy's been stubborn. There you go. You do the same with, it, with this cloth. So you just clean, clean up uh, the skin of the lobster so it just looks more pretty. This bit here. We're going to slice this down quite thinly, like so, all the way to the end. Look at the color of that lobster. It's amazing. So we're going to start by putting our plate up here first. And what this is, it's really interesting because the presentation on this salad is, is really, really stunning. So what I want you to do is bear in mind when you're plating up this salad, you start from the center of the plate, you work on, on the way out to the edge, and then back into, tail it back into the center again. So the focal point is the center of the plate. Letting the eyes flow with the plate. Standing up like so. Turn your board over. We're going to get a cucumber now. Cut your cucumber lengthways, like so. And then you just want really thin slices. Like so. Now you're going to place the cucumber in the opposite kind of semicircle to the lobster. You can see it's starting to come together there now.
and take ha uh, half a lemon. Again, very thin slices. Of the lemon. I'm gonna put a couple, just like so. You can see it coming together there ni nicely. Then we're going to get some of our lettuce, and again we're going to make a bouquet of lettuce. Just a mixture of lettuce, whatever lettuce is, is, that's fresh locally to you. You can see the way I'm holding it in my hand here, it's the best way of forming a nice bouquet of lettuce. Place there and there. Now it's making sense to you, it's starting to come together. Okay, when you've got to that stage, you just get plain yogurt. We're going to add some lemon juice to, to the yogurt. And then some chives. Finally chop your chives. Okay. Add into your dressing. Some black pepper. Some salt and pepper. Now you probably noticed that that's just a little bit too thick for drizzling. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water, just to thin it down a bit. This is a very refreshing dressing and works extremely well with lobster. So just going to drizzle that around the plate. A little bit on the lettuce, like so. And I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil over the whole salad. And a little bit on the plate, just for a bit of contrast against the white. A couple of chives, then. And then we're going to finish it off with a cracked black pepper. There you have a very simple and great summer lobster salad with a yogurt dressing. And coming up now, we're going to do a bread and butter pudding, which is a traditional Irish dish. And we're going to use Paddy's Irish whiskey to make a lovely custard to go with it. Now we're going to do a bread and butter pudding. It's the traditional Irish dish. We're going to add a whiskey custard sauce with it. We're going to put a hole in the top and then pour the custard in. It's going to pour it over top and it's going to be delicious. Absolutely gorgeous. So what we're going to do is what we have here, we have got some sliced pan, 
just white bread sliced, some sugar, some raisins, some eggs, vanilla pods, and a little bit of butter. So it's bread and butter pudding. So we're gonna get our sliced pans. We're gonna butter Good bit, good bit of butter on it. We're just going to take off the crusts of the bread. Like so. And cut them into fingers. And lengthways. Like so. You put in some sugar. Some eggs. This is enough. Give them a good beating. Just like that. We're going to add in a little bit of cream. Excellent. It's lovely. So I'm going to serve this in a cup, just to be a little bit different. You can serve them, you can put it into a pie shell as well, if you're doing it for a number of people. It's very handy to do the cups because it's individual portions, you know exactly where you stand. So you're going to line, it, line the cup with some butter and some sugar. Just brush the sugar around the edge of the cup, like so. And with your bread, you're going to dip it into your cream and egg mix. You're kind of working it around the sides, like so. Keep going around the edge until you've got it completely surrounded. Okay, and then we're going to put in some raisins into that. Another piece in there. Some more raisins. You build it up until you get to the very top of the dish. Some more raisins on top then. Just with your fingers you want to press it press it down. going to pour a little bit of the mixture on, in on top. There you have it, it's actually quite simple to make. We're actually going to put that into the oven now. And while that's in the oven we're going to start making our whiskey custard. Let's turn this board over. What's really handy about this custard is is basically you have the mixture already made with this. The only thing that we're lacking to do is we're lacking to put in the vanilla essence and the most important ingredient, and that is that Irish whiskey. We'll turn on this one instead. Okay, when you, when you put in your custard into your pan, you want it down on a low heat and continuously stirring until it actually gets to a, a, a consistency that coats the back of the spoon. I'm going to put in one vanilla essence, vanilla pod there, and a splash of good old Paddy's Irish whiskey. Again, just continuous stirring. This is like watching the kettle boil. But it, once it starts, it'll happen very, very fast and thickening. This is actually perfect timing because by the time this custard is finished, our bread and butter pudding is going to be just perfect. And then we'll be able to serve it up. And you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So you can see there that that is nearly just perfect in consistency 
really, really creamy and smooth. That's exactly what you want. If you turn that, if you cook it too fast, it'll end up um, scrambleizing on you and stuff like that, so it won't be really good. Let's check this uh, pudding. Take it out of the oven. You can really see it's, it's become solid now, but it'll be extremely moist inside. And we're gonna help it out a little bit as well. So I'm just gonna put it on its saucer. It's a very hot handle here. Center here first. Okay, and then with our custard, we're going to pour it in. You can see the consistency there as I'm pouring it in. Okay. Put a vanilla pod in there. I'm just going to make a hole in the center. And I'm going to pour the custard on top. There you have it, a traditional Irish dessert. Enjoy. So there you have it. We, start, we started off today with a pan seared salmon on a cucumber pickle. And then we followed it with lobster salad with a yogurt dressing. We finish off today with a bread and butter pudding with that whiskey custard. Please join me again next time here on Hip World Gourmet. And don't forget, we always do it for the love of food. Schlanze.